for a few tips to survive this misery in a piece we're calling, Oh My God, It's So Friggin' Hot. Can we say friggin'? We can, but we shouldn't say God? Okay, oh man, it's so friggin' hot. Uh, first of all, if you want to beat the heat, the most important thing you can do is dress appropriately. And when the weather gets too hot, conventional fashion rules just don't apply. For example, at 95 degrees, it is perfectly appropriate for men to wear tube tops. Give it a shot. Very nice. Shave your shoulder, man. At, uh... Wow. At 98 degrees, beekeepers can switch to short sleeves. Go ahead, beekeepers, switch to short sleeves. It's not a problem. For those of you in corporate America, when it hits 100 degrees, break out the pinstripe business thong. Perfectly appropriate. Yeah. Thanks for the close-up, Alan. Man, last night, because of the... He didn't get in that close at rehearsal. <laughs> Wow. Uh, last night, because of the heat wave, thousands of homes across the country experienced power blackouts. This is terrible, especially because a lot of people weren't able to watch our show. So for all of you people who lost power last night, here's some highlights from my interview with John C. Riley. Please welcome John C. Riley. <laughs> John C. Riley in just a second. Stick around. That's my style. That's how I interview. I like it. Minimalist. The, uh, the heat, wave, heat wave is causing the air conditioners in our studio to run at maximum capacity, but it's actually not enough. To keep our studio audience comfortable tonight, we had to activate our backup cooling system, Abe Vigoda blowing at you across a snow cone. That's fine, that's fine, Abe. That's fine, Abe, that's fine. You can stop now. Abe, please stop, for God's sake, stop. I want to congratulate that audience member on some of the best acting for an audience member I've ever seen. That was terrific. Thank you. Okay, you see that, guys? That was very good. It's like a silent film star. All right, another thing. Hey. Another thing about the heat wave. Hey, Conan. Uh, yeah, Bill? All kidding aside, it really is getting awfully hot in the studio. Is there anything you could do? Well, would you like a cold iced tea? Sure. Hey, can we get a cold iced tea in here? <laughs> no. Man, you are fat. <laughs> now that's a cold iced tea. God. <laughs> oh. Now, wait a minute. You all really laughed. And then he leaves, and you want to have it both ways. Oh, what's not going to happen here? <laughs> it is hot in here. You know, personally, I find that just thinking about cold things... Oh, shut up. I just personally... Personally... 
My own staff is laughing at me. Personally, I find that just thinking about cold things cools me down. For instance, right now, I'm thinking of a tray of ice. Hey, Max, uh, what are you thinking of? Well, I'm thinking of skinny dipping in an ice hole. Nice. <laughs> Pretty nice. Hey, uh, what about you, Joel? What are you thinking of? I'm thinking of Ricky Martin and another guy playing around on the beach while wearing tiny Speedos. <laughs> no, no, no. Joel, you're supposed to think about something wintry or cold. Oh, okay, Conan. Oh. Uh, much better. You know, another thing about the heat is hey, that... Hey, Conan! Want to go somewhere really hot? <laughs> that's, that's okay, devil. No, I do not want to go to hell. Who said anything about hell? I'm talking about my hot new pan-Asian restaurant, Diablo Foos! <laughs> Serving up dim sum and sushi in the heart of Greenwich Village's trendy meatpacking district. Okay, we get, <laughs> let me get this straight, uh, eternal son of darkness. You have a sushi restaurant? It opens this weekend. I was kind of hoping you could maybe come by opening night, help me generate some celebrity buzz, you know? <laughs> no, no, forget it. Fine. You weren't my first choice anyway. Ann Curry bailed at the last second. I got plans for that bitch. <laughs> just go, devil, just go. You regret this, O'Brien. Where did he go? <laughs> and finally... During a heat wave, everybody, and I mean everybody, is advised to avoid doing any strenuous activity. And this has obviously been very difficult for one of our show's most popular characters, the masturbating bear. Take a look. As you can see, the bear is completely wiped out from the heat until it cools off a bit somehow. I just can't imagine how the masturbating bear could possibly pleasure himself. <laughs> We'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, Ice-T will be joining me. We'll see you in a second.